Good morning, folks. We've got grand solar minimum news and a possible secret deployment during the SpaceX Falcon 9 heavy launch. Right now, we're eyeing that incoming sunspot group, so let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star were fairly calm, given that there are sunspots on the disk. The solar flares, though, have not continued their rise after the initial bump, still not cracking C-class range. The umbral cores are numerous, but spread. The magnetism of most interest has the potential to develop in the center of the grouping, where solar flares would have to come from in this one, but thus far, it's just the front and back that have all the power. The coronal holes are beginning to depart the Earth-facing disk. We have been inside slightly elevated intensity solar wind for a couple days, and we remain inside that stream today. But the plasma stream has plateaued without hitting 500 kilometers per second, and Earth's magnetosphere is in calm territory right now. Perhaps, however, you notice that there is a void in the corona on the incoming limb. It's not a circular coronal cavity. This is an open void. And as we cut all extra brightness from 211 angstrom view, we see that indeed there are no filaments, and this is likely an incoming coronal hole. Using stereo A to come from Earth view to around the side, seeing what's incoming reveals it is an equatorial coronal hole. It will be facing Earth this weekend. Top quake of the last day. Many of you saw in last night's evening show, deadly one in Taiwan with dozens still trapped in collapsed buildings. Interesting story from Earth's polar region with vast implications for astrobiology. Yesterday we were discussing the sub-ice life potential in the TRAPPIST-1 system, and today we learned that under the ice on Earth, exposed to only 0.02% of the sunlight on the surface, by the way, that's 1%, then just 2% of that little 1%, and yet the life is just fine. Splendid. Up next, we've got a half step in the right direction. Solar and climate science come together, and if indeed we get the grand solar minimum expected this century, it would, in their models, begin to result in drops in temperature. This is the first mainstream recognition of that potential, and so, in that regard, a positive note. But even they likely underestimate the power of this minimum, as they still focus only on solar irradiance, the electromagnetic radiation, photon light. Cosmic rays and solar energetic particles are still not in this climate model. They can vary hundreds of times more than irradiance, and if we are looking at electromagnetic photons, why not look at electromagnetic plasma as well? Paints an amplified picture. So SpaceX had a great day, didn't they? Successful launch, deploy, landing, and an amazing slash hilarious visualization of Starman in the Tesla car standing in for a block of metal that would have been a test payload to simulate a satellite carry, but also with cameras to let everyone watch the much more interesting view. This footage is linked for you. It's from SpaceX's YouTube channel, their official video. It also included two shots of two engines from the side, one with considerable apparatus right of it, pipes and tubes and metal glimmering, the other engine had significantly less interest right of it, a black block. The official SpaceX video shows this angle each time this engine is shown, each time the right side is as boring as it gets. As we go ahead and watch again, focus on the shadow creeping up. In their official video, SpaceX cuts around here near the bottom. They go to another view and come back to this engine as the shadow is departing up. Notice the continued boring black on the right side. However, I was already irked because I clearly remembered recording a much brighter right side on this engine, and I also thought they didn't cut out this middle part where the shadow comes up even higher. Once more, let's see where the official video cuts off from SpaceX and where it comes back in. Now let's watch what I recorded, the entire missing piece from the original video. Eyes top right. That is not ice or another of those speck particles you can see throughout the video. That is a shell, a casing outside something that was deployed. It popped off during the deployment. And this was much more than an hour into the Starman video, which is well after the deployments were supposed to have ended. And if you look at the reflection you see on the top of the craft, it indicates it wasn't an object passed in space, but one moving at the same relative speed and direction. Even live, they cut right after this, but not soon enough. Unless someone else knows where to get the original live footage, it is gone other than this. Don't know what it is, and if there is a good explanation for the site and the cut footage and the poorer resolution in the official edited video, please let us know. If it was nothing, why cut that footage in the final video, and why is the right side black when we all saw more detail in the live shots? Editing for reduced quality. 
That's a new one for me. Once again, right now with the app upgrades, we are running at a cost loss over here. So before an upgrade in price, this is me giving you all time to get the app before that happens. We greatly appreciate your support. It's what allows these news to come out each morning and in the afternoons these days as well. We've got your win maps and shots of our start to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.